So no one likes or wants a dirty car. So that's why I highly suggest you go check out Shine Armor on their website. They have a bunch of detailing products. And as long as you use discount code Euro, you'll get a 20% off all your purchases, no matter what they are. As long as they're on the website, just be sure to use the discount code for 20% off. And right now we are currently inside of my 2020 C43, as you guys can see. This is now tuned by Rentec. And as you guys can see, this is the key here. We're gonna drive around with this thing, show you guys what it sounds like and the overall experience. I just put my seatbelt on and we should be good to go. So as you guys can see here right now, the car's transmission temperatures are a little bit cold, so we can't really just start yet pushing the car. So while it warms up, I'm gonna tell you guys pretty much everything I have done to this car so far. So other than the Rentec tune, I also do have a Rentec blow off valve. Um, I just added that because I just like the little psh sounds it makes and I think it's pretty cool. Um, other than that, performance wise, this thing is completely stock. I'm on stock intakes right now, uh, regular 93 octane. Um, no down pipes at all which i'm not really sure if i plan to go on down pipes later on but i mean that's i guess something for the future but again as of right now that's pretty much all i have right now just a simple tune and a rentec blow off valve and 19 inch wheels so i am on a staggered fit tire setup so out back i do have 265s and in the front i do have 235s i'm on yokohama advanced sport plus tires and honestly they've been pretty well actually for the most part holding up now i do plan on hopefully in the near future to be switching on to michelin because obviously i feel like michelin is the best for you know all around tires um but again other than that that's pretty much everything i have done to the car in terms of performance so far so i should be sitting somewhere around like 440 give or take horsepower at the crank and maybe 450 460 as well upon feet of torque which in my opinion is honestly a pretty solid upgrade um from the stock numbers the stock numbers were a little low 385 horses and 384 pound feet of torque um nothing too crazy but again kind of uh, middle grounded level so i also felt like i can get more power out of this engine and with a simple tune i definitely did that and as you guys uh, can see if you followed my instagram or my tiktok i did post on my instagram uh the zero to 60 times so my stock times the average on this thing was anywhere between depending on the conditions and things like that was between a four second flat and a four two and sometimes a four three um now my zero to 60 time in about 80 degree weather which is which was the only time i recorded was around 3.76 seconds which honestly is really impressive if you ask me and you can definitely feel it the car just pulls much harder the boost comes in better the torque is definitely there um the top speed limiter is removed i but i do still have the rev limiter with the tune but again that's for safety purposes and the lifelong um you know the longevity of the engine so it doesn't hurt it in the long run so again overall so far with this tune it's been like about maybe a week and a half now um very happy with it i love it really no complaints and i feel like this is like the perfect amount of horsepower for these cars because obviously there's a lot of horsepower that's hidden with these things due to emissions and things like that so that's pretty much it that's enough talking for this video now the rest of the video which is going to be straight up driving and yeah pretty much it enjoy the video
man, this is quick. And one last thing before I end the video. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably heard a lot of rattling because I did um, while I was recording it. And it was from right here. This guy right here. The sunglasses. So, whenever I'd hit a bump or whatever, it'd make like a little creaky noise. And it would, you know, kind of sound all cheap and plastic here. Now, Mercedes build quality, again, is not the best. And that's no secret. Everyone knows that. But for the most part, it only is loud when you press on it. So, like this. For the most part, that's that's the only time it'll turn on. But when you're driving, it should be dead silent. You're really not going to hear anything. Again, my situation was just my little sunglasses up here. I promise.